Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation b plus 1 over 1 plus b is equal to 2. Our job is to find all possible values of b. So, let's start. Since this 1 plus b is in the denominator, so b cannot be equal to negative 1. Because if b is negative 1, then this 1 minus 1 will become 0 and dividing by 0 is undefined. Now, if we multiply both sides of this equation by 1 plus b, this implies that b plus 1 is equal to 2 times 1 plus b. Next, b plus 1 is equal to 2 times 1, 2 plus 2 times b, 2b. We subtract 1 from both sides. This positive 1 will be cancelled out with this negative 1. And uh, at left hand side we are left with b is equal to 2 minus 1 is 1 plus 2b. Now, we square both sides of this equation. This b squared will become b squared is equal to by using this algebraic identity a plus b whole squared is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. This 1 plus 2b whole squared will become 1 squared plus 2 times 1 times 2b plus 2b squared. Next, b squared is equal to 1 squared is 1 plus 2 times 1 times 2b will become 4b plus this 2b whole squared will become 4b squared. Now, we subtract b squared from both sides. So, this uh, positive b squared will be cancelled out with this negative b squared and this equation will become 4b squared minus 1b squared 3b squared plus this 4 times b plus this 1 is equal to 0. Now, this is a quadratic equation and is factorable. We write this 3b squared, 3b squared and we split this 4 times b as plus 3 times b plus 1 times b plus this 1 is equal to 0. Now, from these two terms, we can factor out 3 times b in bracket left b plus 1. And from these two terms, uh, we can factor out plus 1. In bracket left, uh, b plus 1 is equal to 0. And as you can see, this expression b plus 1 is common. So, we factor out this uh, b plus 1. And uh, in bracket left, uh, this uh, 3 times b and this plus 1. In bracket left, uh, 3 times b plus 1 is equal to 0. And from here, either this expression b plus 1 is equal to 0 or this expression 3 times b plus 1 is equal to 0. From this equation, if we subtract 1 from both sides, then b will be equal to negative 1. And from this equation, 3 times b is equal to this uh, plus 1 will become negative 1. And if we divide both sides by 3, this implies that b is equal to negative 1 over 3. So, we get two values of b from this equation. Now, as we discussed earlier that b cannot be equal to negative 1. So, this solution will be rejected. Now, we verify this value of b negative 1 over 3 and see that this is a solution or not. The original equation is b plus 1 
divided by 1 plus b is equal to 2. We replace this b with this value negative 1 over 3. So, this will become negative 1 over 3 plus 1 divided by 1 plus negative 1 over 3 is equal to 2. Next, negative 1 over 3 plus 1 divided by 1. This plus minus will become negative 1 over 3. Is it equal to 2? Now, we can write the denominator of this one and this one 1. And we take LCM of 3 and 1. The LCM of 3 and 1 is 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 1 times this negative 1, negative 1. Plus 3 divided by 1 is 3. 3 times 1, 3. Divided by LCM of this 1 and this 3 is 3. 3 divided by 1 is 3 and 3 times 1, 3. Minus 3 divided by 3 is 1. 1 times this 1 is 1. Is it equal to 2? Now, this negative 1 plus 3 will become 2 divided by 3 divided by this 3 minus 1 will become 2 divided by 3. Is it equal to 2? In this 2 over 3 will be cancelled out with this 2 over 3 and here we are left with 1. So, 1 is not equal to 2 means uh, this uh, second value of b negative 1 over 3 is not a solution of this equation. So, we conclude that uh, this equation has no solution.